Morning. You and Robert haven't fallen out already, have you? No, I just thought I might like the space. Well, you can't sleep on the sofa, lad. Well, I don't mind. It's comfy. I suppose they're getting to an age where they need a room each. I don't want to overstay my welcome. You don't need to go anywhere. Robert and Andy are grown up enough to settle their own differences, aren't you, son? Well, I am. Can't speak for Rob. Yeah, well, come on, shift yourself. I'll go and start the breakfast. I'll get out your way, then. I'm simply pointing out there's a lot to be said for appeasement. Tara's trying to get me sacked. Does that not bother you? Of course it does. But I know what she's like when she's got her back up. She'll blame anyone but herself. And I'm supposed to let her, am I? She needs careful handling. That's the last thing she needs. If she starts getting high and mighty with me, she's going to regret it. You'll make things worse. I know how to deal with her. By the end of today, things will be a whole lot different. I guarantee you. Morning! There's no need for this. <laughs> There is, since the idea of living with me obviously repulses you. Oh, that's not true. You know I'm not opposed to the idea of us living together, in principle, but well, this is a bit out of the blue. <laughs> I thought you'd be pleased. Rodney's my boss now. Yeah, and he's my dad, and he lent the money to me. I didn't realise you had such an aversion to the idea of family. Oh, what's the rush? We're happy where we are, aren't we? Look, I'm taking that cottage, Carlos, whether you come with me or not. Fine, that's your choice. Morning. Diane. So, it's true then. I heard a rumour. The warrior has returned. Hi, Diane. You nearly give your old man a heart attack. Yeah, that was the general idea. Oh. Still, you're home and safe now. That's the important thing, eh? Am I interrupting something? Silence is golden. Silence is golden. <sighs> the Tremolos, 1967. You've got a good memory. Yeah. So, What's on the agenda for today, then? Don't know. Thought I might go into Hotton if I can raise a bus fare. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't make a habit of this. We haven't won the pools in your absence. So, Go with him, if you like. There's work to be done at the farm. We're on holiday. You're supposed to have a bit of fun. The farm is fun. I'm going to do it feed. Brotherly love's still a bit thin on the ground, is it? Yeah, well, I thought after some time apart they'd be mates again, but it just seems to have made things worse. A lot's happened, Jack. It's going to take some time. And the important thing is the family's back together, eh, Victoria? <sighs> and to celebrate, I recommend lunch at the Woolly. Oh, I don't know. On the house, naturally. It's not like you've won the pools. <laughs> Zoe, any news on Lady Killer? I'm just going out to take a look at him. Mind if I tag along? Ta Andrew, you're the stud manager. I'm hoping you'll contribute a little bit more than just tagging along. Of course. This is hands-off approach has got us into this mess. Oh, I'm sure it's not as bad as Tara makes out. You know how she loves to get her G-string in a twist? Well, I hope for both your sakes that that is true. Come on. Good luck. morning. Is it? Hey, let me give you a hand with that. Oh, Dad! Yeah, you, uh, you started early. Yeah, I want to get in and settle. Oh, shouldn't Carlos be playing this part? Carlos is staying at Annie's. Good, so you two were taking the plunge. So did I. Another false alarm, apparently. Is he messing you about? It's not all his fault. I wanted the cottage to be a surprise. Well, it's not fair. When you do stuff on impulse, you always land on your feet. You didn't even discuss the move with Carlos. I love him, Dad. I thought he loved me. Oh, I'm sure he does, Princess. But moving in together such a big thing. To a man, it's monumental. <sighs> he probably just needs a chance to get used to the idea. Do you think so? Yeah. Once you've sorted the place out, made it nice and cosy, then I'll be knocking on your door morning, noon and night. Mm, that doesn't mean I'll answer. That's my girl. <laughs> well, 
immediately anyway. Is it good news? Not really, no. If anything, it's slightly worse. Damn. Do you realise what this means for the stud? <sighs> Extra nookie for homegrown hero? You're taking this rather lightly. I assure you I'm not. He's still good for teasing, isn't he? Andrew, you are missing the point. We have two stallions, one of whom is unable to cover. I do appreciate that. So what do you suggest we do about it? I suggest what we take is a... he doing here? His job. I don't want him anywhere near my stallions. Pity sick. I mean it. Tara, I think we should discuss this sensibly. Did you hear what I said? I'll see you back at the office. I want his head on a platter. Hey! All right, Robert, I didn't know you was back. So those aren't for me, then? No, for my granddad is in hospital. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. we are just going and getting him now. What else has been going on around here? Oh, where do you want me to start? Come on, Ollie. I told your mum we'd be back before she goes to work. I'll best catch up with you later, yeah? I'm not going anywhere. You're late. Am I? Some people will be wanting their lunch in a couple of hours. Bernice, it is just pies, pasta and ready place. I think I can manage somehow. Your heart's not in this job, is it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I really appreciate you taking me on. But? But I've just had your ex carping on at me about, about how wonderfully well my restaurant's doing since it's gone down market. He's trying to steal our trade, the thieving swine. Mum, why do you always have to assume that everything's personal? Because, in his case, it usually is. Everything I've ever owned that hasn't been nailed down has ended up in his pocket. And the thing is, I don't know, it, he's right, isn't he? He's right. Out of a hundred people surveyed, our top answer was, we don't want Marlon's fancy cooking. And I'm not stupid, I, I know we've got a real on our catering profile. Well, have you told him that? Yeah, like he's going to listen to me. Poor Marlon. We wouldn't be in this position if you hadn't sacked Carlos. I can't believe you just said that. Have you and Carlos sorted things out between you? I know we have. Good, cos I need to make a phone call. What are you up to? We both know you didn't sack him cos he's a lousy cook. What are you playing at with my daughter? What? I paid good money for the two of you to move into that house. I'm aware of that. Cold feet, is it? Sort of. Yeah, Nicola's always been prone to jump the gun. <laughs> I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> I'm just used to living where I am. Moving's not really crossed my mind. The two of you are still OK, though, aren't you? Yeah, well, not today, we're not. Apart from that, if there was a problem, I expect you to be straight with her. The way I feel about your daughter hasn't changed, I promise you. Good. Hi. Mm. We've been summoned. Who about? Diane. Conference now. But we're just about to open. That's what I said, but she won't take no for an answer. Well, we'd better see what the old girl wants then, eh? <laughs> His injuries are not Andrew's fault, you know that. Well, someone is to blame. You and Virginia exercised him. Maybe we should sack her as well. Sacking people is not going to solve any problems. These horses are our livelihood, Zoe. Well, maybe you should have borne that in mind a couple of days ago. What on earth possessed you to start interfering? We well, only walked them around the yard. Virginia mentioned lunging. Oh, come on, there shouldn't be much of a challenge for a fit, healthy animal. This is a clear case of negligence. Andrew hasn't been giving them the care and attention they need. I am not sacking him. Oh, stud managers are ten a penny. You know, that's not true. And he's built up our client list for practically nothing. If I withdraw my stallions, there won't be much of a business to manage. It'd be wise to keep that in mind. <sighs> this had better be important. I've got a restaurant to run. Haven't we all? This'll only take a minute. Fact is, we want our chef back. Carlos works for me now. Only because he's desperate. Ah, uh, I was sacked. Diana. Yes, well, Bernice has decided she was perhaps a bit hasty letting you go. Isn't that right? Is it? What are we supposed to do if we give you Carlos? Your restaurant is called Shea Marlon. Bit of a clue there. What makes you think that Marlon wants to come back? Would it be worth me breath talking to you if he didn't? What are they doing here? 
Oh, don't ask me. I just run this place. I was just telling Cathy and Rodney your plans for Cher Marlon. What, 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 what? That you were telling us earlier. So, Marlon? You got something you want to say to me, have you? Uh, I might have. <clears throat> yes. When, when we were discussing the future of Cher Marlon, I, I felt that you got the false impression that I was entirely opposed to change. But that was what you said. Before you ran out and left us high and dry. Uh, obviously, obviously, what I meant is, as, as joint shareholders, we should all sit down together to discuss how, how best to broaden the appeal of our menu. You mean uh, pretty much along the lines that Cathy and I suggested? Pretty much, yes, yes. Oh, I see. Well, there you go, then. <laughs> it's all been a silly misunderstanding. Hmm. So, we'll see you tomorrow, then, shall we, Marlon? Tomorrow will be very acceptable. <laughs> well, that's settled, then. You haven't actually asked me if I want my job back. I can't afford to pay two chefs. There's your answer. Fine. Let's talk. Tara. Andrew. Not you. Why don't you go and get us some lunch? Do I look like a sandwich girl? Now, please. Right. Here's how it is. I'm prepared to leave my horses at the stud. I'm pleased to hear it. Provided your resignation is on Zoe's desk by five o'clock this afternoon. And why exactly would I want to resign? Oh, I would prefer to see you sacked. This is me conceding ground. I was nowhere near that horse when it got injured. My point entirely. How could you allow me to exercise Lady Killer? We are going to lose thousands of pounds thanks to your dereliction of duty. You just don't live in the real world, dear. Oh, and what has the real world got to do with anything? I wouldn't be surprised if you nobbled Lady Killer on purpose. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, Tara. We both know what this is about. You've been gunning for me ever since I took up with Virginia. What? Grow up, can't you? I can't believe I'm the first bloke who's turned you down. You... What? Don't even think about it. I'm no gentleman. But then again, you're not much of a lady. What did you say? I shouldn't be doing this. Nobody's forcing you. explain what's happened. Oh, I don't think you do. I want you to know I did nothing to encourage him. He thrust himself upon me. Just get out, Tara. This is no way to run a stud farm. Doesn't look good, does it? I've not turned into the Queen Mother, you know. The doctor said to take things easy. Don't just say that. That's what they paid for. Oh, hello, Angela. <laughs> you causing trouble already? I wish Sean seems to be forgetting that the only reason they let me out of hospital is to look after Ollie and Mark while you two go off Gallivant. <laughs> uh, in your dreams, laddie, me and Mark will be looking after you. What? Oh, I feel a relapse coming on. Oh. <laughs> Granddad, you're so hard to make a fuss of. I know. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Lunch is ready. You get his bags upstairs. Come on. Hey. The spread. It's just my way of saying thank you for being so understanding. If you and Sean are back on track, that's thanks enough. Don't see any point in dwelling in the past. Thanks. I'm not sure I want to know this, but what on earth did you think you were doing? I don't know. It was sort of the only way to shut her up. Oh, is that the best you can do? Tara's been trying to get her hooks into me for ages. Oh, I see. And, um, having sex with her is your way of telling her to back off, is it? How could you do this to Virginia? I'd best go and find her. I think that's the last thing you should do. Is it? 
Andrew, you haven't even thought up a Bible excuse. If you want to make amends, then I think you should give Virginia time to get over the shock. I suppose you're right. I'm extremely disappointed in you. I feel the same way. You're not going to suck it, Zay? Just get back to work. Missing Gloria. What? Oh, it's never easy when a relationship ends. Do you know what else isn't easy? Listening to gormless platitudes when all you want is a quiet drink. I'm sorry I spoke. So am I. So, did you break any hearts over in Spain then, Rob? No. But I might do now I'm back. Well, that's why you've come home, is it? Oh, well, someone's <laughs> got to look after me, old man. Yeah. You saying that I haven't? Well, I bet you're glad to have Robert back, aren't you? Yeah. You really miss me, haven't you? <laughs> you wish. Will you two boys stop winding each other up? How are things at the restaurant? Great. In fact, Trey's really picked up since we changed the menu, so you'll all have to come in. Sounds good to me. Mm. I can't guarantee an endless supply of young girls, though. Just one will do. Ready for more drinks? Yeah. I'll need a big, strong man to give me a hand. I think she means you, Jack. Right. <clears throat> How's it going? Oh, don't ask. That good, eh? I appreciate this, though. As long as we do things together, keep Robert and Andy thinking they're part of the same family, I'm sure everything will work out. Of course it will. So where's your girlfriend today? Don't you already? No. She will. Heard from Gloria? Would I tell you if I had? It's strange, isn't it, how she disappeared so suddenly? And she's not the first woman of yours who's done that, is she, Eric? Have you two nothing better to do with your time? Hey, do you think he's grieving? Well, you can never tell with him, can you? Could be wind. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle of vodka. Please? Just give me the vodka. You all right, love? If I was all right, would I be buying vodka at 1.30 in the afternoon? Had words, have you? What? Well, you and Andrew, I saw you both this morning. Can't people just leave me alone? Well, what's the matter with her? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go and find out. Emily! Hey. What's this? A damsel in distress, my favourite kind. What's wrong? <laughs> Come on. Let me buy a drink. I can't believe you'd do this to me. Andrew. <laughs> I'm with her. Who? Tara. Oh. Maybe you made a mistake. I caught them in the stud office. Oh, it really is a shame. <laughs> well, if there's any consolation, we're not the first one these two times. It's not, no. Jimmy. What can I say? Get away from me! Oh, there's no way I wanted you to find out like this. Look, she doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, let's not have any unpleasantness. You're supposed to be my friend. Why can't you ever be pleased for me? This wasn't about you, honestly. I wasn't thinking of you. You never do, you selfish cow. Oh, you didn't honestly think Andrew was going to stick with you, did you? Grammar school girls aren't really his type. What did you call me? I only put up with you out of pity. Oh! <gasps> How dare you! You! I approve of that sort of thing. Are you going to open your present? All right, thanks. 
You don't know what it is yet. I'm sorry, Emma. I'm not really in the mood. I had a notion you weren't. You've not unpacked yet. Can't face it. Where's Carlos? <laughs> oh, I promised myself I wouldn't get like this. It's all right. I don't want to live here on my own, Em. There, there. You tell me all about it, eh? Scrapping in public again, Tara. I'm expecting you to behave professionally. What happened? What do you think happened? She assaulted me. Oh, and before you get any ideas, this time I've got people to back up my story. Will you be taking statements? It's just that we saw the whole thing blow by blow. Look, there's no need for Angie to get involved. <laughs> yes, there is. Is she true blood? It's just a scratch, Tara. She flew at me like a mad woman! You gave as good as you got from what I saw. Self-defence? She started it. She attacked me for no reason. That's a lie. Tell her the truth. And I thought we were friends. Tell her the truth. All right, all right. That's enough. Put her in the back of the car till she calms down. I'm the victim here. I'll need a statement from you later. With pleasure. <laughs>